Hey guys and welcome back or welcome if you are new. In today's video I will be organizing in the master bathroom but before we get into any of that I want to go ahead and first clean the countertops off so we can start off with a fresh and clean slate. So to do that I'm just going to be removing everything from the countertops and then I'm going to take some hydrogen peroxide to go ahead and disinfect and sanitize. I'm simply removing the cap here and inserting one of the spray tops right onto the bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and use that and you will see here in a little bit I did decide to go ahead and just dilute it a little bit with some water so I did mix it and I will just be spraying it and then wiping dry with a microfiber cloth. Okay, so now that that is all cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what everything looks like inside of these drawers. So we will be tackling all of these. First, I'm showing you my side of the vanity. So underneath the sink here, you guys can see there's just a bunch of random things. Well, not random, but they're just all over the place and they're overflowing. I clearly have a ton of feminine products that I need a better organization method to them than what I currently had. And then in these drawers, you guys can see that I kind of had some organizational bins in there, but it really wasn't working out too well because things were just still thrown on top of each other and you had to shuffle through them before you could find what it was that you are looking for. So I'm going to be trying to make this much better. Now for the drawer in the middle where I keep like all of my hair supplies and stuff to get ready, you guys can see it's a complete disaster. There's just hair bands and hair clips and all of that stuff all over the place. I even have a napkin right here where I laid like some of those clips and a uh, bobby pin so that they were just not scratching the bottom of the drawer but I need to go ahead and organize this because I just get anxiety from looking at how bad this looks and then over on my husband's side of the vanity you guys can see underneath the sink he has a couple of extra supplies like extra mouthwashes and all of that but the real problem is over here in his drawers where he managed to just jumble things up and somehow mix his hair stuff with like dental floss and toothbrushes which that is an absolute no-no that is unacceptable he cannot be doing that so I'm going to be working on trying to separate it into two different drawers so that that doesn't happen again. So now to tackle this, I'm going to start off over in my side of the vanity and I'm just going to be emptying out working in sections that way I don't get too overwhelmed because let's face it if I completely empty out all of the drawers at once I will get overwhelmed because that's just a lot of stuff to deal with. So for now I'm only going to focus on my side of the vanity and then work our way around. You ain't got enough of this fever I know, I know Nothing would remain and you don't wanna go, so go Cause you're picking your place, no time to waste I wanna love you but life doesn't wait You can stay here and waste away You need to taste every mistake Fall out and get up again and again Again and again and again and again I'll be with you always You don't need to be your friend so now that I emptied out my side of the cabinet, these are all the items I am working with. So I have to figure out how to organize these in a better way. So these are the containers that I previously had. Some of these are from the Dollar Tree and then this acrylic one is from Home Goods, I think. But I recently picked these up. These are from um, Ikea and I will be, 
actually replacing some body wash and body lotion you guys will see later in these and I also have these woven baskets I have these other acrylic containers and then I also ordered some from the container store so this drawer here I plan on using for hair products it's pretty tall and deep so I think that would work great these drawers you guys have already seen if you watch my kitchen organization video these are meant to be for shoes but I am going to be using them for probably the feminine products so we will see if they actually fit in there and the ones at the bottom are refrigerator and freezer organizational bins but I will be trying to use them in here as well and last but not least I also ordered these drawer organization bins from Amazon so I will link anything and everything that I can down below in case any of this um, is useful to you guys but yeah so these come in so many different sizes I love that I can kind of play with them and fit them inside of the drawers and just figure out the best configuration that works with the products that I do have. So before I can use any of these, I'm going to just um, take everything out of the wrappers and take off all the labels, wipe them down a little bit, and then we will start trying to move things into these containers. <music> And as usual, I will also be wiping down the cabinets and the doors before we put anything inside of here. And now to try and figure this all out, you guys will see me trying different configurations of the drawers and just all of the products that I do have um, to organize, just moving them around and trying to figure out what will work the best. I know usually under the sink, it's a little difficult to organize just because you have to try and work around all the pipes and the tubes that are underneath there. But also keep in mind that there's a ton of vertical space that you can try and use up, which is what I was going for. This is why I am trying to stack things on top of each other and just trying to see how far up I can go with it still being useful and not being in the way of anything. So you will just see the process of me trying to figure this all out. And let the organizing begin. I am simply going to be removing some of the packaging off of these feminine pads and just trying to organize them inside of these drawers. Again, that's another tip I have for you guys. Anytime you're going to go organize something, if you can get rid of packaging and just plastic and all that extra stuff, that's going to help you out so much because it just makes everything look more cohesive and that automatically tells the eye that this is organized somewhat at least. And whenever you go to looking for organizers, you definitely don't have to spend a fortune again just look for different purposes for bins like these that I'm currently using these are supposed to be for shoes which I don't even see how you would fit a shoe in here to be honest because they're tiny but I thought outside of the box and I figured it would work for something like this and like it did with the sponges for my kitchen sink and all of that so they can have so many other uses than what they are advertised for you just really have to kind of just think about it and see if it could be something you could use in your own space and also don't be afraid to browse online and try to find some good deals. You can also find good um, containers at Ross and HomeGoods. These specific ones are from the container store. And although you usually think there's higher priced items there, these were only like $6 a piece. I got them on sale. So definitely keep an eye out for sales. Think outside the box and you can definitely save yourself some money and still get something that looks more put together because sometimes we tend to resort to the Dollar Tree and get things there because they are budget friendly. I've done this myself before, but I found out that 
it is better to just go ahead and get something that's going to make you happy because in the end you might end up wanting to replace them just like I did because the material just doesn't stack up to par. They're more flimsy plastics but it really just depends on you. You can spend as much as you want, as little as you want. The point is to just try and group like items together that way they have a home and it's easier for you to put things back in there and also keep this organization going because we wouldn't want to spend all this time trying to organize this space only for it to last a day or two. So we definitely still want to have something that's practical and not just aesthetically pleasing. I need you tonight Together we can go crazy We can put out the lights Together we can go, we can go I look straight in your eyes And everything is so hazy It is just you and I And everything is so, thing is so So call me out, call me out, baby I have now finished with the part underneath the sink but I'm going to move to the drawers to the side of it and I'm simply going to vacuum all of them out again and wipe them down before we get into organizing here but definitely stick around till the end to see the complete transformation of all of these spaces I will be coming back and also labeling so definitely stick around for that. I've been dreaming about you Every night I see your clearest day It's just something about the way you make me feel Cause I can't concentrate Anytime you're beside me Yeah, it's what you do to me I can't breathe 
You can see here that I am fumbling around with the bins trying to see what fits where and how best I can organize this. So then I figured I would go ahead and just work on the middle drawer where I keep all of the hair products because I initially ordered these um, little drawer dividers for this specific drawer because I did need something that was very um, shallow so that it would actually close in here with the drawer. So I'm going to start with this and then work with everything else that I have left over and use those in the other drawers. So here I realized that I had some space for those donut hair things so I pulled them out from underneath the sink and put them in here and then I was just thinking of where I can um, place everything because like these I don't really use that often so maybe they did not need to be front and center so you will see me moving them towards the back here in just a little bit and just doing the same with the rest of the dividers trying to figure out where the best placement for them is. Time flies, close your eyes, imagine you could see Everybody else's dream, what a comfort it would be Now moving back to my side of the drawers, you guys will just see me playing around once again trying to figure the best configuration for things. I couldn't make up my mind as to how I could get everything to fit on the top drawer that had to do with like um, the teeth, so all the toothpaste, toothbrushes, and things that I reach for the most often. So I will be working on that and then we will move on to the other side of the vanity to start working on my husband's drawers and his side of under the sink.
If you're still watching up to this point, let me know down below why it is that you like these organizing videos. For me, I think of organizing as sort of my therapy. It just kind of helps with my anxiety. So I really enjoy the whole process of it. And then the finished result is just amazing for me. And whereas cleaning, I see it more as like my cardio. So that's why I combined both cleaning and organizing into this channel. So let me know down in the comments, do you prefer cleaning or organizing? Do you like both or which videos do you look forward to the most? We had a lot of bar soap that my husband liked to use so I went ahead and just took off all of the packaging and grabbed this container that I had in the kitchen so it's an airtight container and started putting them in here and you guys will also see that we had a ton of little travel items like the bar soaps that you find at the hotels. Do any of you keep those? I'm curious to know. Let me know I'm not the only one please. But yeah we had all of those so I went ahead and also took them out and put them inside of this bin with the rest of the bar soap and all of the other travel items also went ahead and grouped together into a different bin. So my side of the vanity was looking a little crowded and since my husband had so much more space than I did, I decided to go ahead and just move over all of the cleaning supplies into his side. Out of love, never get enough. We never seem to get older. When things are going right, you seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. Now I'm going to move into the shower and I'm simply taking all of the body wash and shampoo and everything that we have in there and I'm going to be pouring it into these containers that we picked up at Ikea for just under $2 and I really love that you can pop off the top and even use it as a cup if you wanted to and it makes for pouring all of these liquids into here much easier as well. I went ahead and left the bottles facing down for a little while so that all of the product can make its way down and I'm not wasting any. So then I'm pouring that back into here and then I'm coming back with some stickers that I made that match our pantry organizations and placing them on each bottle. I will link down below the file to these labels as well as list all of the materials that I use. So make sure to check the description box if you're interested in these. I don't know where she came from. Kinda turn me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I wanna spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. And 
and I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? I really loved how this turned out. It just looks so clean and crisp. And you guys know that I love my black and white accents. So this just made it all tight in. And I also wanted to mention these two black hooks that are holding our black loofahs. And then this black bar soap holder, as well as the black squeegee that we have for the glass door. All of these are stick on. So I will leave the link down below in case you guys are interested. If you are renting a place and just want to spruce it up a little bit, you can use these no problem whatsoever so I'll make sure to link them below and now to decorate where the toilet is or the water closet I ordered these shelves off of Amazon they're just plain white shelves with these black brackets which can be which can be mounted two ways so you can use them like this where the bracket is kind of holding up the shelf or you can use them underneath where the bracket pushes the shelf up if that makes any sense but yeah now my husband is going to help me install these but whenever he was putting them up against the wall and I saw the brackets um, contrasting against the black toilet paper holder and stuff that we had I noticed that they weren't a true black they were more so like a charcoal gray and I knew that would bother me so I ended up asking him to spray paint the brackets with a black paint that we had and this is what the brackets looked like after he painted them. So a true black now and he's going to go ahead and just install this for me while I work on creating some labels for the organizational bins as well as some wall art for this bathroom. take to be happy how many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone before you get to meet someone like you how many songs can you write about heartbreak how to go on when you're fed up with mistakes maybe i just found the answers maybe i just found the answers in you going to work on a hand soap label I will be removing the current one that it has and then just trying to take off some of the stickiness on the back put it down on my little piece of paper here trace it out cut it and then I will have a brand new label to match the rest of my decor your heart gave a little bit of your heart to me all the scars start to heal when I'm with you and I can't explain how I feel When I'm with you just give a little bit of your heart Give a little bit of your heart to me And now to finish off the decoration, I'm going to take these little baskets and start filling them up so I can use them in the bathroom to decorate. And in a little bit, I will show you guys all of the before and afters of everything that was accomplished today. So stay tuned for all of that. Trying to be cool, 
trying to be those bad guys Smoking cigarettes behind the school Always trying to be cool Trying to be those bad guys, you know Spinning round, round, around. Oh, I want you now, now, now. My world is spinning round, round, round. And I want you now, and I want you now, and I want you now.
that wraps up today's video hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me to organize in my bathroom and maybe this motivated you to organize a space in your home so thank you guys again so so much for watching i really do appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos and leaves comments likes and all of that good stuff so thank you all again so much for watching please like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new and i will see y'all in the next one bye guys now, now, the world is Round, round, and I want you now, and I want you now, and I want you now.